Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another chapter in the adventures of Partia I'll Eat. Our hero begins this chapter a little distracted by a local matter. There's a family feud that needs settling, and Partia hopes that by helping settle the dispute, he might curry some favor with the Kuzate people, a people that he intends to work with and perhaps use to a degree in the future. He's also, in all honesty, hoping for some financial remuneration, because again, he intends to establish an enterprise of his own in the very near future, and every little bit of money will go a long way. And so, Partia, along with his friend Valdim, marches on to speak with Korot of Pabistan, in the hopes of settling this family feud, this dispute, without any blood needing to be spilled. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. As we dive on into this conversation, let me tell you, I've got a lot planned for today's session, but the first thing to do is, of course, end this family feud quest. Well, well, what do we got here? Have you come to your own funeral? Wait, we've come to talk. Just listen to us, please. You evil bastard. I knew we would find you some way. Now, you will face injustice. Hold your horses. This lad is now under my protection. We have come to talk in peace. What there is to talk? This bastard murdered one of my kinsmen, and it is our right to take vengeance on him. You're breaking the law. Maybe. So, now we get to, uh, to try our chances with Charm, and, uh, and try to convince this guy to not draw his sword. We got a couple of options here, uh, with effectiveness varying from 74% to 59% to 9%. So things aren't looking very hot, but let's try our best. He says it was an accident, and his family is ready to pay the blood money for his folly. Law says you have to accept it, otherwise you will be punished. Okay, nice, good one success. Now we have uh, another less likely option. And then the same custom will give the same rights to your enemies. Too many innocents will suffer because of your selfishness. Yes, oh, oh god. I see. Alright, I spare the boy's life. Now get out of my sight. Okay, relations improved with the person that gave us the quest, but not so much with this guy over here. Quest completed, received 600 plus dinars. Very well, I will take it. Uh, let's, uh, let's make our way. Alcha, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. Heaven watch over us. Heaven give us strength. I give you strength. I watch over you, Alcha. Give me some respect. Apologies indeed. No thank yous. No thank yous whatsoever. A thankless job, truly. But folks, now that that's been taken care of and we've made a little bit of money, uh, it's time to continue our adventure. So there's a couple of things I want to try and accomplish today. For one, we are very, very close to making enough money to establishing a workshop, or to establish a workshop, sorry. Uh, you need about 14 to 15k to do it, and I've got some plans as to what I want to do to make sure that we become, or we get cash flow positive basically as soon as possible. But as I'm trying to get to that status, I also want to try and find these last few pieces of this puzzle over here, and I have a bit of an idea as to how I want to approach it. Uh, see, there are some Kuzate lords that we can speak to, and I think there are some Northern Empire lords that we can speak to as well, because we've spoken to Southern Empire lords uh, so, I'm going to move to the front line. Lords are likely to be found there, forming armies and things like that. So, I'm going to move towards Amprella. Go up over here, move to Amprella. Um, maybe check on Epinosa Castle in case it's under siege, and then come down to Amprella, then down to Mysia, then over to Seniopa, in the hopes of maybe coming across something. And of course, as we're doing that, we're going to keep our eyes peeled for potential bandits that we can attack as well. And on that topic, there are some step bandits down there, so I just want to mention that I have some degree of intention <laughs> to purchase a lance, but only if it is a, um, I see a couple of parties here. It might be worth following them. Uh, but yeah, only if it is a, um, lance that you can couch. And there are specific types of lances that, um, that you can couch. And, and, and the reason why is because, uh, I've been practicing and having some fun with couch lances and they're, they're a ton of fun. I think y'all will, y'all would enjoy watching it and I definitely enjoy using them. So, uh, I'm hoping to pick one up maybe this session, maybe in the near future. I feel like, Ooh, there's no exclamation mark, but didn't we have someone without an exclamation? See this fancy banner here tells me that maybe this is worth, uh, why not? What, what do we have to lose? We're moving in this direction or bandits. Pulag's party. I mean, maybe if they're forming an army. Misui, yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? My name is Partia, madam. May I ask yours? I am Misui of the Kurgit. I'm sure you've heard the name of our clan in the epics of the steppe. 
we carry the name of one of the ten sons of the great She-Wolf, mother of the Kuzates. I am Lady of Baltakand. I am sure someone with your reputation knows that nothing in this world is as valuable as the weight of your word. Speak truthfully with me, and I shall do the same with you. Well, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? I curse that name. It took from me my husband, two brothers, more cousins than I can count. I'm so glad. Uh, why? I don't know why the exclamation marks aren't showing, but wow, we got lucky there. Well, the Kurgits were never the richest of the clans, but we made up for it with our valor. When word spread that the Emperor was promising silver for men to ride at his side against the Sturgeons and Batanians and others, of course our young, brave boys leapt at the chance. My husband, the bravest and best of them all, led them. We fought the Volandians. We won, but there was a great slaughter. My husband's horse was slain, and he was ridden down, though he died amid a pile of Volandian dead. Elsewhere on the field, the Emperor was having his head hewn off with a Sturgeon axe, and thus was in no position to pay us. Such are the fortunes of war. But what came afterwards? When word spread of what happened to our menfolk, the other clans, the Arkits in particular, knew we were weak. Our herds were raided. Anyone who protested was killed. Monchug did little to stop it. It taught us that valor will get you killed, but treachery will make you rich. Man, that's a dark past. Well, thank you, Misui. The fortunes of war, indeed. Uh, is there anything else? No, I must leave now. Great. Goodbye. Thank you. Now, I think you've spoken to two Kuzate lords. So, I mean, you know, yeah, following following parties is a good idea. And all right, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. Let's go down to Amprella, down to Mysia, and over to Senopa. Uh, maybe maybe this gut uh, is onto something over here. So let's make our way over, shall we? See if we can't find somebody else. We could also... Ooh. I, I mean, sure. Let's. It's worth the distraction, right? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. He doesn't have an exclamation mark either. You don't know me. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask yours? Unteric, as far as I know, we have no contract to fight you. Oh, are you just mercenaries? Okay, I must leave now. If you're looking for stout warriors, friend. You should think about hiring the company of the boar. The stoutest lads in Valandia flock to our banner. Because if you don't hire us, your enemy might. Good ad campaign. Cheers. Thanks. All right, that was a waste of my time. <laughs> Onwards we go. We could hit up Umbrella to maybe make some purchases. See if anyone's here, perhaps. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Myron. Myron. I don't know if uh, we can speak to him right now. We can't. But maybe, maybe when he steps out. Let's see. Let's continue our journey. Slowly, I'll keep an eye out to see if they they pop out as I leave no again I'm trying to not get tunnel vision in any in, in like either direction right so down to my Zaya, it looks like there's some raiding going on in the area so that's promising that's promising anyone at my Zaya right now perhaps let's see if someone's like in here right now what do you have gang leader needs weapons oh, those can be pretty good quests but I'm not I'm not looking for for quests right now Oh, let's leave. So over now to, um, where was it? Sinopia. Ooh, Lucan's army. I Did we speak to him? I, I think we did, right? It's been a while. Yes, okay, we did speak to him. I must leave now. Though I did just notice something. Does it say he's besieging Mysia? Okay. I'm going to try something that in theory should work. It could be very profitable. Spoils of War is, <laughs> you know what, that could very well be the title of this chapter. So if Lucan's besieging Mysia, no matter which way the siege goes, um, there's money to be made here. What happens in a siege? People go hungry, right? That's, that's kind of the goal. So if food gets consumed, hypothetically, if we're able to find, if we're able to find food and bring it here, then no matter which way the siege actually goes, we should be able to make some money off of it. No, I'm not gonna... Oh. Damn it, they have they have olives, but it's the Southern Empire. How greedy is, um... Is, uh... Ooh, fish over here. You've got grain. Alright, you know, it's close enough. Let's... Okay, fine. I was gonna say, how greedy is, uh, is Partia compared to his, um his principles of, of dealing with the Southern Empire while it's at war with his people. We're going to go ahead all the way back to Pavistan and what was it, Mazen, to pick up fish and grain. 
And then, yes, okay, looks like there is a siege happening. Then we're going to try and come back in time. We need to be the first caravan here, though. We need to be the first. Because if we're not, someone else will come through and they'll make all the money that we could have made. So let's make our way over. I might, I don't know if I'm going to purchase any horses for this. We're moving at a decent enough speed when it's daytime. 5.3, it's not too bad. Myron, Monchug, Chagan. We've spoken to Monchug, right? Okay, well, there's one way to check. Yes, we have spoken to Monchuk. Cool. I don't want to distract, get off the, the path, because it looks like they might be responding to uh, to the siege. So let's uh, let's hurry over and see what we can do over here. Kada is going down as well. Yep, follow follow the war. You will find the nobles. Yes, Hurunag. What are the chances? This is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, such is our fortune. Hurunag. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Now, he had the blue exclamation mark. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? I am Hurunag of the Tigrit. I'm sure you have heard the name of our clan in the epics of the steppe. We carry the name of one of the ten sons of the great she-wolf, mother of the Kuzaits. I am Lord of Akalat. I have heard of you. Your name strikes fear in men's hearts. That is the best kind of reputation to have. Perhaps we may have interests in common. I like this conversation so far, folks. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? I was there. Many of the Kuzates went, mostly the Kurgit clan, who were hungry for glory. But I was also young and hungry for glory, so I went along as well. The Batanians had planned an ambush up in a wooded pass for the Imperial Vanguard. Then the Valandians and Sturgeons were to come sweeping down on their flanks in the battle. Our scouts found the Batanian ambush, but Neretzes did not listen, and blundered into it anyway. One might call that his folly. While Neretzes' vanguard was getting slaughtered, we met the Valandians. But the Valandians brought lots of crossbowmen, and our horse archers took heavy losses. Eventually, the armored Imperial cataphracts showed up and rolled over the crossbows, but we were caught in a melee with the Valandian knights, and that was where things got bloody. We won. Barely, with the help of the Imperials, but the Kurgits were mauled. Since then, the Kurgits have been rather weak, and you know what happens to the weak. Still, no one told them to put all their eggs in one basket like that. If you want more information, there are two people you might try to speak to. Istiana worked as a sort of unofficial spy master for Nretzis. She lives near Epicrotia. Then there is Arzagos, who was his bodyguard. He's supposed to be near Maranath, though I hear he's changed quite a bit since then. Well, thank you, Hurunag. Ah, oh, that feels good. Is there anything else? No, I must leave now. Very well, goodbye then. Goodbye, you have been most helpful. Log updated, quest completed, meet with Istiana, and meet with Arzagos. Alright. Yeah, so these are our new quests. That's, oh, that feels so good. Done, all done. You've collected enough information. Fantastic. Now, where are they? Seems it's been marked already. So, Car, Banseth, and Av Castle. We can uncheck. Maranoth and Epicrotia. Epicrotia is over here. All right, and Maranath is over here. Okay, cool. You know what? That's kind of in the direction we were headed. Uh, I'm still going to do my Mizea run over here because I think there's money to be made. So let's go ahead and pick up some fish over here. And you know what? I think we're going to take a bit of a risk. I think we're going to take a bit of a risk to... No, this is Mazan. What kind of quest do you have? Train troops? No, thank you. Bandit base? No, thank you. Train troops? Nah, there's too much risk of, of potentially messing that up. Let's go ahead and purchase. Hopefully fish at a cheap price. Ah, uh, it's not cheap, but you know what? Do we have any to begin with? We have 21 to begin with. Um, so 100 and it'll become 125, right? So 104. Oh man, okay, yeah. If we buy, uh, I gotta write this down, right? I'm, I'm keeping a track of this stuff because I feel like it, it fits our role play and also just lets me know if I'm actually making a profit right now. So we're buying 105 fish, was it? For a total of 1456. This is expensive, but I think, think it'll work. Okay, uh, yes, done, cool, could also recruit some troops in the hopes of helping me carry some of this stuff, okay, done, then let's head on down to, what was it, Pabastan, right, for grain, so now we head down to Pabastan, and then we make our way over to Mysia, we gotta, we gotta get there first, I'm investing a lot in this, this is kinda maybe silly, but hey, no pain, no gain. Okay, this is expensive. Look at that. Can sell at Mysia for 23. That's the rumor right now. 
Okay, how much grain do we have right now? We have 14 and we're about to buy 147. So let's go ahead and check this, right? So grain, if we buy 147, it'll cost us how much? Can we even, no, capacity exceeded. It'll slow us down too much. Let's reset that. How much can we carry? We can carry a fair bit. They've gone from 147 down to 86. What's the math on that? Doing so much math over here. Um, 61. I've just bought 61, I think. Mathing while recording. This is an interesting experience. Fine. So 61 for 793. All right. There's maybe money to be made here, folks. <laughs> oh, God. This is a nervous laugh for sure. Let's make our way over. Let's make our way over. We need to make over 2100 off of this to be profitable. Over 2100. Oh, let's not get caught up by looters here. I need to get to my Zaya. Don't. I'm bigger than you. Get away from me. Good. Okay, good. Not interested right now. We have to get here before anybody else. Because it's all supply and demand. That's how trade works in this game. And I've been doing a lot of like. Uh, number crunching and stuff because i've been preparing you might not know i've got a beginner's guide going and so i've been doing a lot of uh, research into how trade works how workshops work and all that kind of stuff and it looks like supply and demand is pretty well represented and it looks like the battle is ongoing so we are actually back on time i could have done that fight up there and no, again no matter who wins with these reinforcements arriving no matter who wins uh we should we should win <laughs> ultimately uh because food is always consumed Right, let's see how this goes. Reinforcements are arriving. I want the Kuzate to win, of course. Oh, it seems that there's been a retreat. All right, so over to Mysia. And let's hope our gamble has paid off. So yeah, you'll see all of this is down. Militia's down, loyalty's down, garrison food is down to zero. Oof, beautiful. Okay, so over to trade. Moment of truth. If we take a look at how much... I wish I could put a number in, because I don't want to get rid of all the fish. I just want to get rid of 105, right? So 105 is... 18 would be left over. Right? If I'm doing the math right. Wow. Okay. So that's a profit for sure. 2240 off of that. Uh, yes. Wonderful. And let's trade again. I'm just keeping my transaction separate over here. Uh, so our grain, which again, we purchased 61. We're trying to get rid of 61. So we'll end up at 12, right? If we end up at 12, we get how much? We get... 1475 folks that was absolutely worth it that was absolutely worth it beautiful in fact i kind of wish i'd done more we've gained two skill points in trade now we're at 34 we're almost at 9k um now i wonder if there's other stuff to trade as well because i am carrying i got butter on me i got grain and i got some fish left over grain's going for a lot grain's going for so much over here Okay, I'm tempted, actually. If we go ahead and do this, right? 498. We still have eight days of food, and we can perhaps pick fish or grain up from elsewhere. Nothing I... Oh, man, if we picked up dates or something. And we could maybe buy some, like, leather or something off of them. It's pretty cheap over here. And if we head on over to Chai Kand, we can make some money. Umbrella for 113. It's not close to double, but it is a fair sum. No, no. Let's, let's not get distracted, right? Let's not get distracted. We do need to pick up some food, though. And let's head towards uh, towards some of these quests, perhaps. And now we can start looking at... Uh, all right, we, we definitely need to get some food, though. Where can I get some food? Cotton is not food. I thought I saw some fishing up top there. So, sure. Let's go to Nortanis Nortanissa, Nortanissa. And we'll pick up some battles en route as well. Uh, we might do a little bit of auto-resolving, because uh, some our size right now is at a point where some of these battles are really kind of quick and easy. And yeah, more troops will get wounded... Uh, but I think it'll just be more effective, and then we can get to some of the bigger uh, situations and conversations sooner. But again, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I always look to the comments to understand what people are interested in. And on that note, folks, please don't hesitate to let me know if you're enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Good bit of money made from that. Let's go ahead and pick up the loot as well. Nothing too fancy, but I'll take it. Let's go ahead and pick up some more fish. Again, we do want some food variety because we're trying to rank up our stewardship. Uh, so we are the quartermaster, but that doesn't help if, we're, if we've got no food variety. Oh no, this has been looted. I should have noticed the smoke. Hardwood. I mean, they might still have some food. It might not be in abundance, but it'll be some food, right? 
We still have like seven days worth of uh, food left still. So we're not, it's not like we're in a, in a dead rush. Oh my. This place is ravaged by war. Let's go ahead and pick up some hardwood though. You always need hardwood, right? So let's pick some up. Have 20 on hand. I say always need hardwood. That's particularly because of how we're uh, approaching our, um, our, our path to, uh, to wealth. Uh, the smelting always needs hardwood to be made into charcoal, right? Let's go to Argaron over here and see if we can't pick up some food. Surely they have something we can buy. Yes, excellent. Fish is plentiful. Beer is also plentiful. Butter is expensive. All right, let's go ahead and pick up a bunch of fish. We already got some, but it doesn't hurt to have more. Sure, 25 fish. Let's go ahead and pick up some meat as well. Meat's back on the menu, boys. There we go. And perhaps some beer as well. It can never go wrong with beer. Never go wrong with beer. Cool. Spending a fair bit of money, but this should give us... Well, okay. It cancels out the lack of food variety. It doesn't give us food variety. Which is unfortunate. And we could purchase something else over here to maybe trade up down the line, but I don't think that's necessary. Fine, we'll stick with this. At least we eliminate the negative to morale. And let's go ahead and crush some more of these looters, shall we? And we do have some prisoners with us. I should have dropped them off. I'll do that... Uh, after we pick these guys up. Are you seriously running circles right now? Come on. <laughs> Fall for me here. And again, I don't mean that romantically. There we go. Let's dive on in. Send the troops in. And sending the troops in also helps, as you can see, with ranking up a bit faster. Uh, gain some renown and morale. Go ahead and pick up the prisoners. Got some gold. I do have some leveling up to do, but just going to hold off on that temporarily. Bear with me here, folks. Bear with me. Uh, I could pick up more fish. I'm not interested. <laughs> how, how many days straight can you just have fish oh the siege began just before i could get back in there to drop those uh prisoners off but if there's a siege you know what that means folks you know what that means let's go ahead and pick up some more fish let's sell these people some fish all right we can buy 160 i can't believe i'm doing this again i can't believe i'm doing this again but it was worth it the last time let's go ahead and buy them out capacity exceeded but that's okay right we bought 160 fish let me just double check here. About 160 fish. Yes. Or 1,600. And the reason why capacity exceeded is okay is because we don't have to travel too far this time around. All right, we're right over here. Uh, I don't really want to recruit any Imperial recruits. I want to start organizing my army a bit better as well. Again, as Partia has gone from being just uh, a merchant who's marching around trying to make some money with some people guarding his caravan and whatnot, uh, he's probably thinking about, well, when he becomes a vassal uh, of the Asarai, he wants to, of course, make sure that he's got a presentable force with him, right? He's got to make sure he's got a presentable force with him. All right, we're actually going to camp out here for a little bit. I, actually, you know what? Let's, let's camp out at El Alatis because that'll help our wounded recover a bit more quickly. Uh, so let's wait here for some time. A day at a time is how we're going to play this. Okay, Myron just recruited some people. Wait for sunrise. You can still see the preparations. I believe it updates. Yeah. Good. So let's pull back. You can see the uh, Empire is responding. I love how alive uh, the map actually is. It's kind of wild, really, just how much detail there is and how much is going on on a map like this. I do hope that... Uh, oh, look at that. You see a siege tower has been built. Aragorn might fall to the Kazate. This is great. Again, I want them to be my friends, right? As time goes on, I want them to be my friends. All right. Look, our salaries are being paid. I need to make this money. Maybe I've waited a little too long on this one. This time is also money, right? Let's not forget. All the salaries that need to be paid and everything. Oh, looks like the battle is on. Little, uh, crossed swords there. Yep, the battle is in fact on. And again, we want to be first in. No other caravan before us. We gotta be first in. And we'll trade in the prisoners and stuff as well. We'll get all that done. We'll get to smelting and everything. We've got so much fish. I can't imagine the smell of this group <laughs> as we march from town to town. All right, there it is. Aragorn has fallen. Wow. All right. Good job, Kazate. And let's see if this has worked out or are we, you know, did we take too much of a risk here? So 23 should be left over and we make how much? 1103. Oh, wow. We took a loss on that. We took a loss on that. Got too greedy, eh? Because they still have plenty of fish because they produce fish here. Ah, I should have seen it coming. I uh, should have seen it coming. It's okay, it's okay. You win some, you lose some. Let's sell enough to get below capacity. Uh, and then we'll... Or rather... 
Let's go ahead and do some smelting over here. And then we'll sell the fish elsewhere. We'll make money off of it. It's fine. We'll make money off of it. I'm not too worried. You must rest. I've been resting. I've been resting. All right, let's go ahead and refine a little bit. And let's smelt. Let's go ahead and get ourselves this spiked mace. Um, the falchion. Maybe the tapered northern blade as well. Sure, I'm really tempted to do the cleaver too. The cleaver, though, I kind of want to keep for a future um, buddy that we get on, a future companion that we might get on. And let's go ahead and see what the trade prices are like over here. At least make back some of the money that we lost. Yeah, okay, good. Wood iron, raw iron, and iron. 796. Almost there. If we can make another 1,000 over here, then I'll make up for my losses. You know what? Listen, let's just go ahead and, uh, sorry, enter the smithy. And let's let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, cleaver. There, there will be chances in the future to get more, I'm sure. So, Valdem, go for it. Kind of hurt, I'll be honest. I was keeping that for so long, but it's probably for the better. Probably for the better. Steel, iron, raw iron, crude iron, everything here is now standard price. So, fine, let's go elsewhere. Let's leave. Let's make our way down to where? Mysia might still need uh, food, I suppose. We could backtrack a little bit. See if we can't get into some fights. Oh, and of course, I forgot to uh, get rid of my prisoners. Yeah, you can see all the prisoners and troops and everything being given. Mountain bandits, hello. Let's chase them down. Maybe help this uh, Northern Empire army or perhaps take them on ourselves. But this is a fight that I'll probably need to fight. Being pulled away, but it's it's fine. Again, the farther I go from the coast, eventually, the better it'll be as well to sell fish. Surrender or die, brigand. I'll never take you alive. That is absolutely perfectly fine. And we're going to fight this one because they can be a bit more dangerous, obviously, to our people. So, to the battlefield we go. Also, as for the crossbows that are in our front line, just a heads up. That is uh, because we... Um, uh, though, though they're actually really good at one-handed, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you more details on that in a bit. Uh, let's, let's take this battle on first, shall we? Um, let's go in. Ooh, in come the javelins. I just realized I don't have my Screamer Lord on, so my apologies for that. It's gonna be a Screamer Lord free episode. There we go. Some cab on cab action. How's our cavalry doing, actually? Get them out of here. Get you out of here. All right. Oh, no, that guy's down. Get out of there. Get out of there, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get this done. No! We lost one. Die, you filth. I'm gonna pay for that. Another one. Come on. Come on. Gotta drop this guy. Alright, hopefully our archers will drop him before he's able to make impact. Beautifully done. Down and wounded. Excellent. All R R. I'm not sure how well our cavalry managed to survive this one. That guy's on his way out. This was not good. This was not a good fight. Ah, messed that up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Throw your stones at me. There we go. Down with that guy. I'm going to make them all pay. I'm going to make them all pay for this. I can't believe it. Took a risk with my cavalry. I, I often take too much of a risk with my cavalry, don't I? Ooh, that, look at that guy's armor. Wouldn't mind selling that to somebody for a extremely high price. All right, follow me. Come on, chase me. Chase me to my archers. Ah, yeah, there we go. Give them some, uh, some practice, right? And we do have quite a few archers. We do have quite a few archers. There we go. Rain hell down upon them. Come on now. Give me some beautiful kills. We'll, we'll get some strikes in of our own as well, of course. I like that one. Mercenary crossbows are doing quite well. They were definitely a good hire, I would say. Definitely a good hire. A bit of charge damage there. Come on, come on. A couple more shots. The horse is obviously blocking the angle. Oh, took a hit there. Poor horse. A poor horse. All right, this guy's running away. Let's ride him down. Come on. Oh, I've gotten rustier with my sword. I've gotten rustier with my sword. As you can see. Oof, that was terrible. There we go. <laughs> when in doubt, 
when in doubt. Now, I'm really afraid to see how many we've lost. Well done, men. Only a slightly sad day. One fell, and it was unfortunately one of our Mameluk regulars. Ah, oh, it hurts so bad. The mercenary crossbows did level up too, and a fair bit of renown and morale. So, all in all, it was good. 278 gold, plundered quite a few nice prisoners as well as an Imperial Charger and some really fancy gear. This is good. Capacity exceeded. That's fine. Taking a bit of a risk over here. Where is the closest city? Where is the closest city? Senio Senopa. Or, you know what? <laughs> we didn't really get that far from Argonaut. Oh, you know what? D Diathema. Sure, let's go here. And hopefully they don't have an abundance of fish either, and then we can just get rid of everything at once. Partia is tired of the smell that emanates from the baggages. Please, take it off my hands. Uh, where's our fish? So, oh, it's dirt cheap over here, so we're not going to go that route. But it looks like iron, raw iron, and crude iron sell at average prices here. So we'll probably go ahead and work with that. Uh, I do also, of course, before I forget again, want to ransom our prisoners. Get rid of them all. Over to... Well, let's wait here for some time so we can recuperate our energy, so we can both smith rather than just the one of us. Receive 231. Oh... Oh, from the, right, from the prisoners. I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> I need to make that money off the fish. I don't want to start with less money today than, uh, I don't want to end with less money today than we started. Wow, that's a lot of these bad boys, isn't it? Smelt another one, then let's go ahead and get a, uh, wooden hammer done. Just so we have some more hardwood. Go ahead and do that. Need to swap on over to Valdim. And let's get the Western Infantry Axe, Falchion, and mm, let's go with the Jagged Spear. Find a bit more. Get you done. And the rest can wait. Well, actually, you know what? We've got the energy, so we might as well. We've got the energy. Might as well. Good. Done. Over to the trades, and let's see if we can't... Well, let's see how much we'll make, right? It's not the best pricing, but it's not bad. 2247. We can do better. We got rid of the weapon, so we are below our uh, limit again. Let's go ahead and dump the armor, though. This is all garbage armor, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't match to what either I or Valdim is using. Let's go ahead and dump it all. 593, easy money. Easy money. Oh, did I? I, did, I don't think I checked fish. I think I. Wait, actually, sorry, actually, you know what? I did. It's dirt cheap here. We gotta get away from the water if we wanna sell fish at a decent price. Let's maybe head down to uh, Rote over here. Are you northern? You're western empire. Fine. I have no issue with you. And we do have to go to Epicrote, Epicrotia for the quest at hand. We're like halfway to having enough money here. If we make a good sale off of the uh, loot that we have, or rather off of the metals we got from the loot that we have, we'd be pretty well off, I think. Pretty well off. I don't think these guys do. They have a mine, your grain. What's your other bound? Well, too late. I'm already here. We'll find out just the prices. That, that, that works for me. That works for me. All right. Yes. I'm so glad I was patient. Food iron. Iron. Raw iron. Steel. Look at that. Look at the difference that a little bit of patience can make. Oh, we can also get rid of our olives and our fish. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. 160 units means we'll be left with 25. So 25. Well, actually, you know what? I want to um, do that separately. So fish, if we're left with 25. 3032. Just as a reminder, we bought it for 1600. We bought it for 1600. We nearly doubled our wealth there. Beautiful. And the rest we can just dump. The rest we can just dump. There we go. Partia is now truly behaving like a merchant proper. A little bit of patience exhibited here and there. Able to make some good sales. Food varieties, all right. 7,614.5k, ladies and gentlemen. We have, I'm fairly certain, enough money to establish a, uh, a workshop. Now let's go ahead and speak to these people because we're right here. Let's speak to these people and let's try and establish a workshop at, at, in this session as well. I would love to get that going um, because we've been building up for it for so long. Wow, man, that was this is this is this has been pretty good though. Some pretty good money making. 
And of course, we, we are going to be paying salaries for the next little bit still. Uh, and I have a plan for what will work best for us in terms of both being in character and in terms of making some decent money. And I'll go over that. If we don't accomplish it today, I'll at least let you know what I have in mind um, so we can uh, we know what we have to kind of look forward to. Hopefully some more bandits or something in this area as well. Oh, there we go. 23 looters. You know what? Let's go ahead and deal with these looters first. Let's deal with these looters first. Some mountain bandits behind them. Because if we get some prisoners, we can drop them off at Epicroti Ep Epicrotia. Epicrotia? However, it said 23 looters. We can probably auto-resolve this one. Surrender or die, brigand. Men. Slaughter them. Eight wounded. A bit much. Some renown and morale gained. Hopefully a fair bit of gold as well. Some prisoners and... Yeah, some stuff. Sure. Not an amazing haul, but it's something. Another 19 over here. Sure. A little Feeling a little bloodthirsty, maybe. They're at 3.6. I'm at 3.9, so I am a little bit faster than them. It's some time to catch up, but it's okay. Ep Epicrotia is not going away anywhere, right? It's a city. It's it'll, it'll be there when we turn around and come back. Surrender or die, brigand. Men, take care of it. Send the troops. Another si 11 wounded. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. A little bit of gold, some prisoners, and some stuff. Not the greatest haul. Let's make our way back. Or, you know what? Sionin is right here. Potentially. Are you... Fine. Let's make our way back. <sighs> this way, I suppose. Keep going. I could hit those mountain bandits. Again, they typically have better loot on them. And then when we go to Epicrotia, we can smelt and everything. This will fight. Surrender or die, brigand. Surrender or die. And again, I apologize. I forgot to set up my uh, thing to work today, the uh, Screamer Lord. So we're going to have to go kind of uh, without that today. Not going to make the same mistakes I made last time. Come on. Come on. Hopefully our archers can take these cav down. Again, they present a pretty big target. So you'd think they'll be okay. And by giving the advance order to our uh, archers, they uh, they skirmish. They'll, you'll see they fall back as the threat comes closer. Come on, drop him, drop him, drop him. Drop him, I said. Gotta do everything myself. Taking some hurt over here. The brigands have hurt our no nomads. This is not good. Well enough over there. All right. Lost a watchman. Well, lost a couple of men over here. Our archers went too far back. That's why I try not to use the advance command because they they skirmish too far back. Even when I play Total War, you'll notice I don't. Uh, <laughs> I I turn off skirmish. Well done, men. Well done. Despite those we lost, those that stand have done impressively. Four fell, two nomads, one Kazate peasant, and a watchman. So fairly low tier troops fell. Oh, I didn't check the renown we gained. I hate missing that. 67 gold. Not a lot of gold, but some good prisoners and some good equipment. A makeshift shield. You know what? Valdim, you should perhaps use that. There we go. That'll maybe keep him alive a little bit better, right? Maybe. Done with that. And let's let's head on over finally. Tepacrotia. Distracted by uh by greed a little bit, Partia there. Nonetheless, over to the tavern district. Let's go ahead and ransom our prisoners. Easy money. To the Smithy next. Um we will need to buy some hardwood. Hopefully it's cheap here. Hopefully it's cheap here. Hardwood is kind of average price. Fair enough. Not too bad. Because we'll make that money back in no time. Go ahead and buy 20. Investing 440 in this. And are we tired? You're tired. You've got some energy, so we might as well use it. Refine as much as possible. Wait here for some time, and then we'll go ahead, smelt. And then we'll have more than enough money to establish this, uh, this first um, of hopefully many, many workshops. Let night come. Let's rest for the night. Let the, let the men heal. We have 10 wounded. And again, being in a city helps. As you can see, in settlement gives us a plus 5 over there. And I also do intend to see if I can't find a... Uh, 
a healer as a companion, because that would be a really good idea to have. That is a department in which we are very much lacking. Okay, let's continue with the refining. Go ahead and get seven of these, sure. Let's smelt both of you. Let's smelt you down. Got this pickaxe smelted as well. Done. I have a little bit too much wood, but it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Because we can sell this stuff. Okay, no, it's dirt cheap over here. Fair enough. I'm almost tempted to buy it over here then. We can like... No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. That would be foolish. Let's go ahead and get rid of all the armor. And we have too many of these shields. <laughs> which I just noticed uh, when we were arming our friend. We're good. We're good. We're good. Now I was suggested that I maybe get myself some cloak type equipment. Um, some of the stuff's really expensive. The woven leather shoulders are not too bad. And you know what? It basically negates the armor. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I don't want all of them. I don't want all of them. Where'd it go? Woven leather shoulders. Just the one. Just the one. Looks pretty good. I do want to get uh, Asurai style armor at one point, though. Uh, hopefully this matches that whole aesthetic. But for now, might as well give ourselves a little bit more. Now, who do I seek? Who do I seek at Epicrotia? Istiana. Well, perhaps we should take a walk around town then. I don't see her. Oh, there she is. Istiana. Seems very epically dressed up. I? Sorry, I don't think I know you. My name is Partia, madam. May I ask your name? I am Istiana. You probably already know that, though. Once I wielded great power, but now... Anyway, I am most curious what you might want with me. So what so? brings you to me? Oh, whoa, voice acting. Oh, okay. I believe I have a piece of the dragon banner of Calradius. Is that true? You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? The banner of Calradius is part of a legend. They say it was carried by Calradius the Great as he led his small band of exiles into this land to make a new home for themselves. They say that so long as it is carried by a true son of Calradius, he shall never be defeated in battle. Or a daughter, I imagine, although that has never come up. Of course, our glorious armies have been defeated many times, but I guess those commanders and emperors were not true sons. Clever little legend. A child could see through it if she tried, but of course people never try to see through the noble lies that bind us together. Thank heaven for that. So, can you help me find a buyer for it? If you can find the missing pieces, I'm sure I can find someone who'll take it from your hands. That's not what she said. She said she can help me put it to good use. So where can I find the other pieces? Before I reveal that information to you, I need to know more about your intentions. One could use the banner to restore the Empire, but one could also use the banner to destroy it. I was a confidant of the old Emperor Neretzi's. Officially, I was not his spy master, as I am a woman, but that was the role I played nonetheless. I liked Neretzi's and was very grateful for his trust, but he was not a good Emperor. Too stubborn and principled. I probably should have poisoned him. <laughs> okay. Suffice to say that I know better than anyone about the lies and cruelty that kept the Empire alive. But all the murders I ever committed in ten years of serving Neretzi's do not amount to the death toll in a single hour when an army storms a town. As for our glorious history, let me tell you, any one of these petty kings and khans and sultans could probably get lucky and conquer Calradia and do as good a job of ruling it as we did. But the point is, we already did it. Our greatest crimes are in the past. Let us not undo what has already been done. So, if you intend to use the banner to save the Empire, I'll tell you what I know. But if you want to go backward, not forward, then I will not help you. So either I say, of course I intend to use the banner to help save the Empire, or I'm not sure I haven't made up my mind about this. Now... Partia is probably of two minds right now. There is one other person we can speak to. So perhaps we tell Istiana, listen, we, we don't quite know yet. Because we don't. 
We don't. Perhaps we do want to destroy the established order. After all, the established order isn't really bringing peace to the land. There's war everywhere. Is it truly worth something that should be uh, maintained? Is that what she means by saving the Empire? I'm not sure. I haven't made up my mind about this. Then you can come back when you have made up your mind. Very well. You don't have to curl your lips at me like that. <laughs> How rude. Istiana. Okay, fair enough. And then we have the other man to speak to as well. And he might be the flip side. He might be like, if you want to destroy it, I'll tell you where to go. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Some more mountain bandits we can strike over here on our way over to Maranath, I suppose. Let's perhaps do a more effective job of that battle. Mm, yeah, one unit of cavalry. It'll be easy enough. Fighting in the trees might be a little unfortunate for our archers, but I'm sure we'll manage. We do overwhelm them. Surrender or die, brigand. You, so if you auto-resolve against anybody that isn't just a looter, people can actually die. And you can see how many wounds we take, so I don't want to see how many deaths we'll take. Don't want to see how many deaths we'll take. Alright, let's get our infantry into a shield wall formation, I think. And let's go ahead and take this cavalry down. Keep our cavalry safe, hopefully. Go ahead, throw your jabs at me. Go on. I wish I had a lance. Oh, his shield. I wish I had a lance. I should really look into getting one. Perhaps one of our archers will take him down? No. Focus on me, you fool. Focus on me, you filth! There we go. Down. Dog. Oh, got a good hit. Nice! Ultimately, one of our friends got him, but it's okay. It's not about individual glory. Especially when I whiff shots like that. Come on, Partia, come on. What's happened to me? What's happened to me? Well, that worked out. Well done, men. Absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. Look at them cheer. Oh, it's so wonderful. Brings me such joy. We won. We did win. 1.4 renown, some morale, a little bit of money, hopefully a fair bit. 197 is not too bad. Some prisoners. Yeah, okay, sure. And we do have a bit of leveling up to do. Wow, we have a lot of leveling up to do. The reason why I'm avoiding it right now is to avoid the increased salaries that'll take us away from that constant flow of income that I'm hoping to get really soon. That's why I'm so hesitant. Just to explain to those of you that are wondering why I haven't uh, rushed the upgrades. We're able to perform well as we are. Why require higher salaries when we're so close to being able to establish what we need? Now, once I go to Maranath, if I'm able to make a killing off the steel and the iron and everything, then sure, fair enough. But I feel like Maranath might actually have access to an iron mine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. So it'll probably be really cheap there. Nonetheless, let's go up there for now. Let's have our conversation. And we have to mull over which way we want to go. Yeah, we're, we're losing about 200-ish a day. And we need to be between 14 and, ooh, 15. Four cavalry in that one. There's got to be a camp nearby, right? Right, over to Maranoth. First things first, let's see what the prices are like over here. Oh, you know what? That's not terrible. It's not terrible. What's your hardwood like? Pretty cheap. So let's go ahead and pick some hardwood up. Let's get ourselves up to 20. I think 20 is a decent number to have on hand. And we can go into the smithy again and just uh, smith the new loot we got. Even if we don't sell it here, we can just smelt it, right? Might as well get whatever we can where we can. And sure, let's do the hammers and stuff as well. Might as well. Get it all done. And let's go ahead and speak to... Ooh. Up with Mountain Bandits. I'm okay. Arzagos, I believe. If you look at his getup, it seems like he's the guy to speak to. <laughs> let's go ahead and speak to him. Hi. Sorry. I don't think I know you. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? You probably are aware that I'm Arzagos. I'm not sure why you have sought me out. But know that my old life as Imperial Lapdog is over. So... Who are you, and what brings you to me? I believe I have a piece of the Dragon Banner of Calradia. Is that true? Well, that's interesting. You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use it in itself. You'll have to find the other parts, but once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? Hmm, who led the people to, to conquer the spoil? 
No, I mean, okay, so this is all the same. Convenient legend, eh? Of course the Calradians have been defeated many times, but I guess those were not true sons. Still, you could say it represents the strength and endurance of this empire. So he's a bit more cynical, clearly. Can you help me find a buyer for it? A buyer? I can help you do far more than that. So where can I find the other pieces? Before I answer, you and I need to know more about each other. I don't know what you know about me. I was a citizen of the Empire. I was a commander in the Imperial armies. But I am not Imperial. Good. I am what they call Palaic. Palaic is a language that is no longer spoken, except by a few old people. Even the word Palaic is Imperial. We are a people who have forgotten who we are. The Empire has a genius for destruction. The destruction of languages, traditions, gods. It takes our fortresses, slaughters our men, and turns our children into its own children. Nothing can bring the Palaic people back. They are now imperial. But it is an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory, that the state which destroyed our shrines and fortresses should last and thrive. I have vowed that this empire shall not survive this civil war if I can do anything to stop it. And believe me, if I had that banner, there is very much something I could do. Oh, man. I i mean, I just saw Hassan Folk fall, right? And his speech was very, very, very impassioned. That was a fairly convincing argument. I, too, would like to see the Empire destroyed. Good. Then I will tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered all pieces, return to me, and I'll help you put them into use. All right. Now the question is... The question is... I can still speak with Istiana, and maybe I can pretend to be on both sides. So three pieces of the Dragon Banner we need. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But I do want to establish my, uh, my income. Because, oh, the hideout's right here? Well, if the hideout's right here, Forest Bandits, oh no. <laughs> this could go poorly. All right, fine. Gonna have to go ahead and upgrade our party. See, the thing about going into a hideout is that it randomly picks who comes with you. And if it randomly picks out my peasants and tribesmen, I'm going to be in trouble. I need to increase my chances of success. So let's see, the Kuzate Nomads, I obviously want to use them as tribal warriors. I want to get them into heavy horse archers over here. So let's go ahead and upgrade you. I'm, I'm sure we'll make the money back with all the loot we've got and everything, right? We'll be fine. The Empire Peasant, only one way for you to go. Mercenary Crossbows, go ahead and make you hired crossbows. These are the guys who, by the way, so if you look at them... Sorry, if you look at these guys, no. Was it the mercenary? Well, it might have been somebody else. I've got the the crossbows that um, that stay in the front line have pretty high one-handed skill. Mercenary swordsman over here, perhaps? Sure. Asurai Mamluk regular. Finally, we're getting some proper Mamluk cavalry with some decent-looking armor and barding. Oh, yeah, look at that. Imperial Veteran Archer, we can go ahead and upgrade you to the Palatine Guard, both of you. Asurai Footman, Asurai Infantry, Watchman up to Mercenary Guard, the Asurai Tribesman up to... What do we want here? The Skirmisher to get the uh, Archers, or perhaps the Footman to get some Veteran Infantry. I wouldn't mind some Asurai Archers. Wouldn't have minded some Asurai Mamluk Soldiers either. We've already gone, gone down this path. So, sure. Skirmishers. These peasants, up to Watchmen. Okay, we, had a, we, have, we have a lot of upgrading to do. <laughs> have a lot of upgrading to do. Mamluk Soldier, you will be a Mamluk regular. Good stuff. Alright, that's everybody. Well, cool. over a thousand. Wow. That was pricey, but I think necessary as we dive on into this hideout of forest bandits. I need to do well here. I'm a little worried. It's not too many of them. Not too many of them. It's going to be, what, 13 against, I think I get to bring in like 9 people or something. We're at full health. we got to wait until nightfall. That's the most annoying part, I would say. 
we look at our inventory, we've got our scimitar and our wooden adarga, so we're fine. If Valdim comes with us, he's got decent equipment. Do we have anything else we can throw on him? He's got all right shoes already, it seems. His helm, maybe. Oh, that's a that's a good piece of armor. Maybe I want this armor. I've already got good, better armor. All right, sure. So let's get this onto you. And that'll hopefully keep him safe. I am worried about this battle, I'm not going to lie. I'm worried about how that uh, how it might go. So, okay, what have we got over here? We're going to dive on into this hideout. Uh, hopefully take these guys out. Then... Then we'll... Okay, here, here's my plan with regards to... Uh, you know, let's, let's take care of this hideout first. Oh god, please go well. Right, we gotta wait until nightfall. Please go well. I've done decently in some hideouts, but uh, when they go wrong, they can go really wrong. <laughs> and you can see how much more we're paying now in terms of salaries. We're gonna lose that money real fast. Uh, let's go ahead and attack there. It looks like we'll, we'll have some loot to be made over here. So after waiting for a while, you find a good opportunity to close in undetected beneath the Shroud of the Night. But you need to be careful when attacking. You will be captured, and your party will disperse if you are defeated. Let's do it. Party will disperse if we're defeated. The entire thing. We got a couple folks over here. Now, there, there isn't too many of them, right? There's just ten of them total. There's nine of us. If we can get some good shots in now, they are archers, all of them. So that's always scary. Uh, let's go ahead and... We do have some archers of our own, so that's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and get into shield wall formation. And everyone... Follow me. So you guys... Yeah, let's get everyone to follow me. Let's get you to follow me as well. And hopefully I don't <laughs> friendly fire, because sometimes when you say follow me, they have a tendency to end up in front of you. We can crouch and get real low and sneak a little bit closer. I don't know if it actually if sneaking actually makes a difference, if I'm completely honest. I think that's about as far as I'm willing to go. And they're all archers, so... When they start shooting, they will land their hits. Come on now, come on now. Come on now, I got this, I got this. There we go, one's down. And the good thing is, they will strike us individually. They won't all attack us at once. Nice, okay, that's another one down. Ooh, okay, I took a little bit of damage there. Got one man down there, and we have a couple up here as well, I think. I thought I saw. Now, holding down alt in a, in a hideout doesn't actually show you anything. You have to go and find them. Yeah, I see one man there by the fire. And there's another two over there, it looks like. Alright, so let's take care of this one man here first. No, don't get in front of me. Stay behind me. Nice, got one hit. Oh, just missed him. Damn it. Come on, come on. Nice, in the crotch. A little bit higher. Okay, a little bit higher still. Nice, right in the head, I think. Yeah, headshot. Good stuff. Where are these others? They haven't noticed anything. Okay, excellent, excellent. Excellent. Getting closer. No one else over here. Men are with me. Men are with me. Okay, good. Maybe close enough. All right, our first shot over here. Ooh, not bad. Not bad, not bad. What's happening? What's happening? Let's go. One more shot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. One's down. Friend's going in there. Solo. Fair enough. Okay, well done. Follow me, follow me, follow me. I, like, have an arrow in me. Now, okay, one thing we can do... One thing we can do... Is pick up... Some of these arrows. Where is his, uh... There we go. Not the chair. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, we're being shot at. Let's go, let's go. Come on, man. Charge in, charge in. Let's go. One of our veteran archers has fallen. I'm really badly hurt. There's three of them left. I was hoping to pick up some more arrows, but we were getting murdered there. Okay, we're fine. He's not looking our way. Let's go ahead and pick up some arrows. 
we just find a uh, uh, like a like a quiver, we can pick them all up rather than picking individuals up like this. Do like a full refill. There were some up there, right? Let's just go ahead and pick them up. I'm really badly hurt. This is not ideal. Okay. Have our fill. There we go. Follow me, men. Nice and quiet. Stay frosty. Alright, so that guy's out there all on his own. We can definitely eliminate him. And then we can go and eliminate those two guys. And then... There's, of course, the leader of the camp. Alright. Let's see how close we can get before I can pop a shot on him. Want to be accurate here. Try and... Oh, no. That's not good. Charge, charge, charge. Go, man. Go. Nice. Follow me. I could just charge him. Charge him. Let's go. Coming in with a flanking maneuver over here. There we go. One hit and... Okay, our friends have got him. Oh, okay, good stuff. Good stuff. And now comes the camp leader. He's going to challenge us. He wants to fight us in a duel. As they always do. You! You've cut quite a swathe through my men there, damn you! How about we settle this one on one? Unfortunately for him, I don't fight duels with brigands. They're too far beneath me. Men... Get him. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm getting hammered over here. A little bit of help would go a long way. There we go. There we go. Down you go, freebooter. Oh, Valdim fell. <laughs> now, did he die? Because it was a red skull, not just a wound. A little early to celebrate, man. A little early to celebrate. Two renown, 1.5 morale. Valdem, it says he's dead. I hope he didn't actually die. I hope we can heal him. Even though we have permadeath on, it seems to be something that's not actually happening. And we did lose that veteran archer early on. And a wounded individual as well. Ugh, these things make me so nervous. 191 gold, that's nothing. Nothing. But, you know, a fair bit of stuff, I guess. Oh, this is fancy. I'd almost rather sell these than use them. Look at the money we can make. For just a little bit more armor. These are also fancy. Okay, that's a lot of fancy stuff. And beer. Alright, very well. Relation increased with nearby notables, and you found the second banner piece. So taking out um, bandit hideouts will help your uh, reputation in the, in the area. Let's take a quick peek at our party over here. Yeah, Valdim is still with us, badly hurt. I'm really badly hurt as well. Oh, that was not the smoothest. That was not the smoothest. Where can we go? Let's head over to Pen Kanak, perhaps? Uh, bound, bound villages are Dern, Gainseth, and Mag Abra. Dern is down here. I just want to see. Okay. Gainseth is up there. Clay. And Mag Abra. Mag Abra, where are you? Why can I not find. There we go. Mag Abra, all the way down here. Clay. Okay, wow. Pen Canic's a great place to open up a. Like a pottery workshop. Alright, let's head on over to there. They might pay a pretty penny for. Um, some of the goods we're carrying. And then we can go and, and speak to, uh, what are, what's her name over in, uh, Epicrotia. Might want to rest over here a little bit as well, though. Let's go ahead and trade. Let's see what we can do. Yes, look at that. Look at those numbers. And beer. Beer is going for a good price over here as well, though we might want to keep that just for maintaining some food variety. Let's, uh, let's go ahead into the smithy. A little bit of refining over here. Oh, just the pitchfork, really? I guess we can get any weapons there. That was my foolishness. Go ahead and trade what we do have, though. We've got a lot of armor. I'm going to keep the male chasse, the wrapped shoes, the highland boots. Then we can get rid of the boots. I want to keep those van braces as well. And the coif. 159 made there. And sure, let's get rid of the iron, the raw iron, and the crude iron. 2,500 made. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Anything else? These arrows I could probably get rid of. Don't need that many. 2,687. The barbed arrows are nice. A little bit of piercing damage. 
but it's a smaller uh, quiver. I say we get rid of them. Not likely to use them. 2,800, almost 3k. Let's take it. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Now, there are some looters and stuff in the area that we can perhaps attack and get their loot. We're at 15.2k, so we probably have enough money to establish what we want to. Now, actually, I find myself in an interesting situation. What I was originally planning, folks, was uh, Partia, ever loyal to his people, would come all the way back down to uh, Sanala and establish a brewery there. And the reason why I say that is because Sanala over here, the bound villages are Mejayat, Hamoshawat, Jahasim, and Nalan. Or Nalan. So Jahasim over here produces, um, if I could hover over it properly, uh, produces fish. But down over here, Hamashwat produces grain, Mejayat produces grain, and Nalan produces grain as well. Three grain producing cities will help Sanala produce beer at a lower cost at a brewery. So at a low cost, and a, you know, average to high sale price, we'd be making a lot of money over there, and it might actually counteract the salaries we're paying. Now, on the flip side, over at Pencanic, I didn't, had, my research hadn't got me to here just yet, but Dern, Gainseth, and Mag Abra are all uh, producing clay, and that could be quite, quite profitable as well. That could be quite profitable as well. I mean, if we, if we go in and talk to, uh, Let's see, what do we have here? We do have a potter. So clearly it is already an established industry in the area. What is the likelihood of Pencanic falling, though? That's another thing to consider, because once it falls, you're going to lose the workshop. So if they go to war with Valandia, we'll be in trouble. You know what? I think we will have to travel down south to Sanala, establish our brewery there, and start making some money with our workshop, uh, and then hopefully establish, you know, later we can establish a second uh, workshop up over here, that might be pottery. Um, or maybe even something else. At Maranath, we can establish a, uh, a smith, because there is iron available nearby. There are options, but I do think we'll begin with the uh, the, the brewery down at Sanala. Folks, y'all let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, this is where we're going to bring this chapter to a close. We accomplished quite a bit. Made a fair bit of money. Truly took advantage of the wars uh, between the Kuzayat and the Northern Empire. That was extremely profitable for us. And I would say Partia certainly is uh, getting a bit of a taste for that kind of, uh, you know, profit, I suppose. Um, but as always, as we bring this chapter to a close, folks, I would love to know what you think about this series. If you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, always helps me kind of know what y'all want to see and how you want to see it. Any feedback for how I could make it more, you know, entertaining, etc., etc. Y'all let me know. But... That is the chapter coming to a close today. Next session will be tomorrow because to hell with the schedule that I set out. I'm having way too much fun with this. So next episode, same time tomorrow. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks, of course, goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.